Hey, what's up, Audrey? Uh, this is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and thanks for talking to me earlier today. I'm just going to show you three quick, easy ways you could beat your competition online starting today. And you're probably wondering why I'm even making this video for you. It's simple. There's a lot of business owners out there that are spending all of their time running their business and taking care of their customers. And they typically don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. Typically, the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these attack plans and giving them away for free, there's still a lot of business owners who end up calling me back saying, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of all this stuff for me. So by the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks on my sleeve and you think I can do a good job for you, just give me a call and we can chat. If you want me to help you, or if you want to take the stuff and apply it yourself, that's totally okay too. This is a completely free education. I'm going to talk to you about three quick, easy things. Um, how to make your website more of an authority, how to make your website more trustworthy, and then how to get yourself ranked on the local map hack rankings. So to start by looking at your website. You do have a really good looking website. I do like all these photos you have up here. A lot of photos. We're visual creatures, so this really helps secure business. Um, what Google can't do is they can't see how good looking your photos are. Um, all they can... Oh, wow. I think I used to live in this area. That's crazy. Um, all they can... Re is this... Yeah, that's crazy. I think I used to live in that apartment. Sorry about that. Um, but all that they can do is they can um, break down your website into text and they can scan through that text with the robots to determine what keywords to rank you for. And keywords are just phrases that people search into Google to find your business. So you're talking about like, you know, plumbers in Keller, Plumber Keller TX, stuff like that. Now, uh, to be considered an authority, Google wants you to have between 1,500 and 2,000 words on this front page. Um, that way Google knows that you're like the end all fix all article for whatever they, whoever they send to you. So if we go check out how many words you have about 703, so you're about halfway there. I would definitely recommend getting yourself up to that 1500 word mark. If you look at your main competitors, you've got leakgeeks.com. You can see these guys, they've got a bit of content, but they don't have that 1500, 2000 words. So you are going to definitely want that. And once you have that, you're going to blow them out of the water. Also, whatever their image is saved as does count. So they have leak geeks. They're doing it wrong. Um, let's see what you got. Save image as, yeah, these aren't saved as keywords. You could say these are like plumber grapevine, plumber Keller, plumber Fort Worth, stuff like that, okay? That's my first tip to make your website more of an authority. To make your website more trustworthy, you need to have more backlinks. Backlinks are important because Google is a popularity contest and they look at how many other websites are linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. It's kind of like that website vouching for you. However, you get a lot more power from Google by having other plumbing companies linking to you because if you had like Pizza Hut linking to you, they know you're not a pizza company. So the tool I use to check us out is called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. And it says you guys have been around for quite a long time, uh, for about three years now, at least the website has. And you've kind of been gone up and down between one and five uh, websites linking to you, which is not bad. A lot, of com a lot of plumbers don't even have websites, so you're still miles ahead of a lot of them. You just want to make sure you get more linking to you so you can rank higher. If you look at Leak Geeks, these guys have 116 websites linking to them. Um, so what I'd recommend you do is you go and figure out what links they have and go try to get those links for yourself because it'll rank for them, it'll rank for you. And so you just go down like Ream, that'd be a great one. You know, Plumbers, a great one. Plumbing Repair, Plumber Douglas, um, let's see, Propane Water Heaters. You would go to these websites and contact them and try to go link yourself either by making an account with them or just, you know, sending them an email. Um, but there's a lot of business to be had. I mean, if you beat these guys and you take their spot, they have 371 people a month going to their website. Keep in mind, people do not type in plumbing for fun. Typically, maybe other plumbers do, but the majority of these are people who are like ready to buy from you. So you want to get those people in front of you knowing your brand because that's free money for you. Last thing I'm going to talk to you about is when somebody types in plumber Keller TX and they're ready to buy, they call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you obviously want to be that plumber because those are the easiest customers to close. People skip these ads all the time. It could be from bad experiences or just having ad blockers. So where you want to rank yourself is in the Google My Business section. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are really common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories, but then add a bunch more on top. So like if these guys are ranked or they're listed in like 100 directories, go list yourself in like 150. All right. So those are my three tips for you, Audrey. I hope you found this really informative. Just as a quick recap, to make your website more of an authority, you need to add more content and target the right keywords like Plumber Keller TX. I think 250 people a month search for that one keyword. Um, to make yourself more of a um, more trustworthy, you need to have more backlinks. So go copy these guys' backlinks and then go add a bunch more on top. Like 
get yourself up to like 130 or 150 websites linking to you. The more within the plumbing niche, the better for you. And then to make yourself rank right here, you need to put your name, your address, and your phone number and more directories than these guys. Just make sure that the name, address, and phone number are spelled the exact same way across the entire internet. Audrey, if you want to take this information and apply it yourself, that is totally okay. This is free education. There's no strings attached whatsoever. Just please send me back some, fe some feedback of this video and let me know if you thought it was valuable. If you do want me to help you take care of this stuff, you can also email us back and just say, hey, I want some more information. Or you can give us a call down here. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. Either way, I do look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you have a great day, Audrey. Thank you so much. Bye.